Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of April, so this could happen at any time in April. Uh, keep in mind, not every reading is for you, and uh, timing is fluid. So, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. That's a few. We're not going to take those. We want just one... A change in the wind. A change in the wind. So there's going to be a change. This is kind of like, to me, it's kind of like the Wheel of Fortune. So things are going to change. I think it's interesting because before I started, I was going to say, you probably thought it was never going to come, right? You thought it was never going to come. Well, here it is. Here it is. A sense that unseen change has been initiated. Preparation for a storm. Awareness that your plans are not on firm ground. Feeling a shift. Uncertainty about which direction the winds will blow. It's human nature to yearn for certainty and to resist change. To want the world to remain consistent like a zebra's stripes. Yet nothing in human experience is black and white nor will anything remain static. The one thing guaranteed is change. Now is a time of transformation as outer conditions are temporarily moving out of sync with your desires and expectations. Stay the course and remember that even storms serve to clear the air, scatter seeds, and nourish the soil for better things ahead. Life is about to get interesting. Anticipate it with curiosity as you wonder what is coming in on the shifting winds. The unknown is where the magic lies. Gemini got this as well. So I don't know if you have Gemini in your chart or you're dealing with a Gemini. Um, but I just wanted to mention that. Relationships go through periods where partners seem out of sync with each other. And stormy emotions and moods threaten to take down the ship. Perhaps someone has a change of heart. And leaves. These rough seas offer opportunities for mutual growth, a way for you to understand your own heart better and to know what you need to be truly happy. Rest assured that whatever is happening now, good will come from it. Take temporary shelter and remove yourself from drama. The air will clear and everything will soon be fresh and new again. This too shall pass. So this is, this is kind of like the death card, right? There's a change coming. It may not be an easy change, but it is meant to be. And new seeds will grow from whatever this change is. It is actually a very positive change. Everything happens for a reason. So there's going to be, there's going to be a change. Somebody could leave your life. You may choose to leave somebody's life. Um, whatever is happening, it's very significant. What do we have for Virgo? There could also be something arriving with that card. You know, endings lead to new beginnings. Whatever this is, this is a very necessary change. And change usually isn't easy. Okay? If there could be some drama. Okay, you could be dealing with some drama. Things need to change. Right? So what do we have for Virgo? The star. Now, the star comes after the tower falls. There's help arriving. This is somebody coming to the rescue. I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that, that has a badge. You notice there's a badge there. Um, but it looks like there's been some sort of disaster or some sort of, you know, event that has caused somebody to... Uh, it looks like they're hurt. It looks like they're hurt, but there's help arriving. This is like uh, somebody coming to the rescue to help you out of a desperate situation. Um, star card is a card of protection. It's a card of reason. It's a card of hope, okay, and renewal. So there, there is some sort of blessing in disguise after the tower falls because that is what the, the star is. So this is actually a blessing in disguise. There's obviously going to be an event that affects your life 
in a very big way. It may change the way that you look at life. This is such a big thing. Okay? It's huge. Um... What do we have for Virgo? And the star is also a card of healing. So you may you may need to heal from what something. I don't know what is happening, but it looks like it's very very significant. And this could happen, you know, I don't know, it could happen in March. Could happen in March, could happen at any time in April. What do we have for Virgo? This is also a wish being granted. So you may have asked for change or, you know, and they will answer your prayers as they see fit. It may not be how you expected those prayers to be answered. So I think that you should probably expect the unexpected. Ooh, yes, there's a higher power involved. Could also be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. But this is a card of faith. You need to have faith. You need to believe in yourself. Listen to your gut. Um, there is a higher power involved here. Absolutely. This is, a, this is a direct connection to God. May have something to do with a commitment, a marriage. Also, this is a card of institution. So I'm not sure if there's something to do with an institution here. May have something to do with a father figure. This is the highest authority. There's a higher power here that is guiding a change in your life. But it doesn't look like it's going to be easy at all because the tower comes before the star. There's protection. This is protection from above. This definitely has to do with a commitment, whether you're in a commitment now or you're going to be getting into it. There's going to be a change in your commitment status. Okay? This absolutely has to do with a commitment. Could have to do with a marriage. Could have to do with a relationship. Something that you are committed to. May have to do with your home. Some of you may be meeting somebody if you're single that leads to marriage. Okay? You may be in a marriage that you're breaking free from. Or a commitment that you're breaking free from. I mean, there's going to be a change... This is a massive change in your commitment status. So if you're single, you may be getting into a commitment. If you're in a commitment, you may be having some sort of event that changes your status. I'm just being honest. Strength. You're going to need to be strong. You are absolutely going to need to be strong. There's, you're going to need to have faith that everything happens for a reason. This is faith. Everything happens for a reason. Strong, determined, proud. You may need to have courage. Whatever this is, you're going to survive. This is a card of survival. This is obviously a card of survival as well. So you may need to master your emotions. This is a master as well, so it's interesting. Eight of Swords. Eights are about change. We have two eights right here, so there is definitely a change. This is uh, held back by fear, and this is fearless. So you may, and you may have been restricted or re, or restricting yourself. Maybe you need to have courage to let somebody help you. You know, sometimes when we get ourselves in situations that uh, hurt us, we tend to protect ourselves and not let anybody in. So I'm not sure if that's what you're doing. 
but this is restrictions, it is confinement, it is a need to reevaluate, reevaluate your circumstances. I do believe there is help arriving for you. Some sort of help is arriving or their change is coming. Somebody is getting you out of a situation that it's a desperate situation. You may, and maybe it's just a fearful situation where you're fearful. Maybe some of you are fearful of commitment. Some of you are in a situation that, you know, you need to escape from, but maybe fear has held you back. Unexpected choice in love. So this is about a commitment. It is about a partnership. It is about love. Some of you uh, definitely need to let go of your fears. You need to open up. There is somebody here that can help you. This is being brought to you from above. There is somebody being brought to you from above. This person is coming into your life for a reason. And it's going to... Shake up your foundation. Okay, this is a foundation. This is a, I feel like we have a soulmate connection here. Okay, both of these cards, we have a soulmate connection. There's no doubt about it. It's, it's definitely the case. Could be dealing with a Gemini, could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a Taurus, Aquarius. You're going to need to have faith and trust that this person is brought to you for a reason. And when I say soulmate connection, people, you know, it feels like this is a relationship, a love connection. It could be something else, but I feel like it's a love connection. I do. This is somebody that you have a lot in common with, a lot. I would say that this is a perfect match. I feel like this is a healing love. There's some sort of uh, strong connection here. And you have to make a choice. I think because this is a choice in love. And I feel like you, you may have some sort of uh, restrictions. It's like you're trying to stop yourself or not allow this person in. Let them in. Let them in. They've come to your rescue for a reason. Or they've come to you for a reason. They've been brought together with this person for a reason. You could also be attending a gathering this month. Could be at a church. There could be a get together. Um, I don't know if it's a marriage. There could be a marriage here. Could also, I, don't, I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. This is marriage. It's a church. This is marriage. This is a gathering, a get together. This reminds me of the death card when we read it. It could be a, a, a funeral. Okay, we could be. You could be going to a death. I mean, a, a funeral or a marriage. You could meet somebody, you know, that is perfect for you. It could be an anniversary party. I'm not sure what it is. It feels like you're at some sort of get together. You could meet somebody that you have a deep connection with. It could even be going to church. You could meet this person at church. There could also, you know, the star card, it feels like, it, I don't know if it's a, it's a institution as well. So this is, because this is like a crumbling of a foundation. Everything happens for a reason. So I'm not sure if you are refraining yourself because of a previous upset. You need to reevaluate yourself. You don't have confidence, believe. Some of you lack confidence, have confidence in yourself. It feels like some. this is wish granted, prayers being answered. They've heard your prayers. Your prayers are being answered. You're being brought together with somebody or you have been brought together with somebody that is absolutely perfect for you. Believe it. You're going to need to have faith in something. But it feels like you're, it feels like you're protecting yourself. You know, you are. It feels like you're protecting yourself. You don't really want to show this person 
all of you or something like that. It's like you don't want to let this person in. And it's because of fear. Have no fear. Have trait, trust. Have faith. Oh. Look at that. Right on the bottom. I knew there was a tower moment. I think it was I think it was in the past. Could be happening now. You've avoided a much bigger disaster by leaving something. Okay, or you, or maybe, this is a permanent loss though. The tower is a permanent, in reverse, is a permanent loss. This is uh, a painful change that you never saw coming. So we definitely have a change that you never saw coming. And I think that you avoided it up until now. You've been trying to avoid, maybe you've been trying to avoid building a new foundation with anybody or getting committed to anybody because of a previous disaster, a previous marriage, a previous con commitment, whatever. This month, everything changes. Somebody sees your beauty. Okay, this is a very beautiful energy. You need to be brave. And when I see this, it reminds me of the fairy godmother, right? Of a fairy godmother sending you help. You've been, it's like almost like a, you've been asking, you've been asking for help. You don't want to be in this situation. And this is definitely a very healing energy. But I see you pushing somebody away or not really wanting them to help you. But I do see very healing, very healing. You're going to be connecting with somebody on a very deep level. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is, is walking away from something, right? You may have to find the courage and the confidence and the strength and the willpower to refrain yourself or to restrain yourself from somebody that you have been committed to in the past. The Eight of Cups is saying goodbye. Somebody could be saying goodbye, whether you're saying goodbye, they're saying goodbye. The Eight of Cups is goodbye. Now we have three eights. Eight all together. Eight, eight, eight. Eights are about change. The time is now when you see 888. The time is in. Didn't I? How did I start this out? I can't remember now. You probably thought it was never going to come. But here it is. That's exactly what it was when I was sitting here before I turned the camera on. I think that you have been thinking that you were. this was never going to happen. You know, it's never going to happen. Here it is. Saying goodbye to something. Fear? You need to say goodbye to fear? You may also need to say goodbye to a previous commitment? Let this person help you? Mm -hmm. There's disappointment here, right? With the Eight of Cups. This is a necessary but painful alteration. It really is. You're going to need to have strength this month. You really are. I feel like there's there's something that is very significant that is happening that is going to change your life. It has to do with a commitment, your commitment status. You could be running into somebody There's a strong magnetic attraction. You're being pulled together with this person. But it will require you to have faith and trust and follow your gut. Some of you are dealing with Taurus. It's a Taurus, Gemini, Leo, Aquarius. But there is a lot of fear here. There is. This is this is pushing away. It's like I'm not 
acknowledging the truth, protecting because of previous deception, because of previous cheating, lies, betrayal. This is a healing love. You have a healing love here. You are going to be receiving an opportunity. Okay, this is this this is an opportunity. It's a golden opportunity that could last. This is this is a new prospect, a new enterprise, laying a new foundation. But you're going to need to Take charge. You're going to need to be realist. Be a realist. Be realistic with yourself. Page of Pentacles is, knows that it's going to be hard work. It's not going to be easy. This is basically starting from scratch. You're going to need to focus. Anyway, somebody is going to be re giving you something, or they're going to be making an offer to you. I think that you need to. I think that you should take it. This is a real solid offer. Okay, you're going to be receiving an offer. This is something, and, and you know, this may have to do with a new home. Maybe you prayed for it. It may have to do with a new home, a new commitment. That You prayed for this. Something that you prayed for is coming. Your relationship... Uh, maybe stepping it up to the next level. You could be moving in with somebody, moving into a home, or getting commitment, getting into a commitment, or meeting somebody that you're going to marry in the future. Something is happening in regards to your commitment, and it is stepping it up to the next level. You can say goodbye to these restrictions. You can say goodbye to this uh, confinement, whatever it is, you are going to be free from something. All the disappointment is going to be left behind. I see perseverance here as well. So anyway, you're going to be receiving something that I don't, I think that you may have lost faith in. Some of you are getting a proposal. Some of you are getting an apology. Somebody, some of you are getting a loan. You're getting something that is going to make you extremely happy, put it that way. This is something you prayed for. And it will be with another person. There is a commitment here. You won't be going down this path alone, whatever it is. You got you got somebody here that you are meant to be with and things are I think things are about to get better. But it will require you leaving something behind that was emotionally disappointing. You know, so yeah, you're going to be leaving something behind that doesn't make you happy. And you're going to be getting into something much, 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 much better. For some of you, this could be like a bank loan or, you know, whatever this is. This is something you can touch. It's something you can have. You know, this is something that, you know, you are going, that is going to make you stable. It's going to bring you stability and it's going to make you extremely happy, whatever it is. Your prayers have, been, this is your prayers have been answered. I mean, they're both together, but it does, you know, it's, it is, it's a massive change. Okay. It's a massive change. So, you know. It's not going to be easy, but you can do it. You will succeed. There's a higher power that is guiding you down this path. You're going to get out of this uh, shit storm that you've been in, and things are about to get better. And that's all I got to say. You're going to be receiving an offer that changes everything. Take it. Good luck.